saying that I have given a zener diode. Okay, so we have a zener diode that has a nominal voltage Vz equal to 10 volts when IZT is equal to 43.3 milliamps. Okay, and I was also told that Vz0 is equal to 9.6 volts. Now, we were asked that if the power rating Pmax of the Zener diode, yeah, maximum possible current and operating point is reached when the current reaches twice the typical current, yani yeah, IZ max equal to IZT. Okay, find P max in milliwatts. So find P max, what is it equal to in milliwatts? So one thing that I just want to make sure all of you are comfortable with, we had the Fana and Ozinar diode to study the negative current for negative voltage, but we are using the absolute values. Okay, so this at this point, I will have P max. Okay, we the values as absolute value. Okay, and this is the typical point. Because we deal with these quantities as absolute values, the equation that relates the diode Vz equal Vz0 plus Rz times Iz, it is all positive quantities. Okay, so uh, the first thing that I need to do is in order to find P max, I need to know the voltage and the current at the operating point. The current, I know it. It's Iz max equal to Izt. So I need to find the voltage. To find the voltage, I need to find Vz max, which is equal to Vz zero plus Rz times Iz max. Okay, but I don't know what Rz is. Okay, so we are going to uh, use the typical point to find, uh, to solve for Rz. Okay, so we say that at the typical point A, so equation A will give me that 10 volts is equal to Vz0, 9.6 volts plus Rz times 43.3 milli. And if I solve for this, I obtain Rz to be 9.24 ohms is equal to Rz. Once I find Rz, I can plug it in equation B and equation B, which is basically the same at A at uh, V max, which is equal to A at uh, max point. Okay, and I will get that Vz max is equal to Vz0, 9.6 plus 9.24 times 2 times 43.3 milli. And we end up getting Vz max to be equal to, in this scenario, 10.4 volts. Once I find Vz max equal to 10.4 volts, then I can say P max is now equal Vz max times Iz max. And this is 10 point, sorry, 10 point four. Uh, this is 10 point four times okay, 10.4 times 2 times 43.3 milli because this is the current. And we end up finding that PZ max is 900 in this example, 0.6 millimoles. Okay, so this is an example problem. Uh, number one for the diodes from the short quiz. Okay, so uh, problem number two from the diode for the short quiz. We are given that for a specific Zener diode, we have that the knee voltage, VZK, knee voltage is a similar Zener diode. 
Okay, it is wherever I have the knee. So I will have for it VZK. طبعا نحنا عم ندرسها بال equations بال absolute value and I see IZK. So عم نكتبها هون minus VZK minus IZK. Okay. So here we will write minus IZK. And given for this diode that the knee voltage is equal to VZ0, which is approximately 9.6 volts. And RZ is given to me to be equal 25 ohms in this example. And I am told that the power rating Pmax Okay, of the Zener diode is found to be 87.2 milliwatts. Okay, and we want to find the value of IZ max. Okay, so in this uh, scenario, we know the relation between any VZ. And I, so Vz max equal Vz0 plus Rz times Iz max. And we know that the power is equal to Vz max times Iz max. Okay, so I can use this equation here, plug it here, because I have Vz0 and Rz, and I will solve for Iz. Max. And in this scenario, I get IZ max to be equal to uh, 8.8 milliamps. Okay. Okay, great. So another problem that we would get here that we also uh, saw in the short quizzes is that uh, we have two Zener diodes back to back. Okay, so this is Z1 and Z2. They are connected across a load R load and they are connected to a resistor R and to a signal VA. Okay, and uh, in this given, I have the following. I know that VZ is 6.7, so for the diode VZ equals 6.7, the typical voltage. Uh, meaning the V and RZ equal to zero. So this means VZ zero is equal to 6.7. And خلاص ال RZ is zero. ما بقى في عنا differences. I know that IZK is equal to two milliamps. I know that IZ max is equal to 20 milliamps. And I am also given that R is 0.48k and our load is equal to 1 kilo. Okay, so given this, now what we have, uh, we are asked to find the minimum. Okay, so the question is therefore to find the minimum VA so that we do still uh, that push. Uh, that pushes the diode to operate out of the zener. And you would like to find VA that uh, pushes the diode out of the zener mode. So, the first thing that we know is that automatically we can replace the two diodes in the circuit with the voltage VZ equal to 6.7 and this is 6.7 volts I will have here a 1 kilo ohm and I will have here a 0.48k and I have here my voltage VA and the question now becomes to get out of the Zener mode the current that is flowing here is going to be 2 milliamps, which is IZK, right? Hide on the edge. Okay. Automatically, we know that the current that is flowing in R and the current that is flowing in R load are related according to IR equal IR load plus IZK 
okay now we know that i r load is equal to uh, 2 times 6.7 over 1 k and i z k is 2 million okay i know i r i can solve for the voltage drop okay so v a is equal r times i r plus 2 times 6.7 Okay, and now we can find the corresponding VA, or if it is easier for some of you to know, we can just say uh, IR, but we know that IR is VA minus 2 times 6.7 over R, and we can solve for VA, and this is equal to IRL plus IZ, right? So we can solve for VA and we can find VA to be equal 20.67 volts in this example. Okay. Now, we also had another question that said a real diode. A minute or real diode, and it is modeled by I equal I S E to the V D over N V T. حتى إذا بدنا minus one كمان. بس if it is in the forward mode, we can assume that we can say it's approximately I S E to the V D over N V T. Okay, so a real diode it has N equal to one point seven. It is biased at ID equal to one milliamp. يعني هاي دي بال D C. And it has our load equals to one kilo ohm, as we will see in this picture. Vt is equal to 25 millivolts. Okay, so we, it is placed in a circuit where we have Va. Okay, we have the diode. And then we have a load that is one kilo ohm. Okay, we are told that, we are told that the fluctuation at the output Okay, uh, the small signal fluctuation or the output fluctuation, okay, in an AC analysis, I mean the output fluctuation can be measured to be plus or minus 316 millivolt. So automatically we will know that VA as a total signal is really VA DC plus VA. Uh, VA small signal and uh, AC. And in this scenario, uh, what matters to us is that when I am using the small signal model of the diode, is that the voltage across the diode is a small, the fluctuating voltage across the diode. So the moment they talk about fluctuation, I am going to use the small signal model for diode which is rd and rd is equal to as we learned in class nvt approximately nvt over id and in this case it's 1.7 times 25 milli over id which is 1 milli and we get this to be equal to 42.5 ohms Okay, so I can replace now the diode with a source that is fluctuating with the resistor RD and with a resistor RL equal to 1K. And knowing that the fluctuation here is plus or minus 316 millivolts, I use KVL or the voltage divider circuitry to say that VO is equal to VA in general times 1K over 1K plus RD, okay? So this implies that VA is going to be VO times 1K plus RD over 1K, okay? And uh, the delta VA, if I differentiate both sides, therefore the fluctuation in VA 
is going to be equal plus or minus 16 times 1.0425 over 1. Okay, and we can find from this relation 